Maca root is actually grown uh, in the Andes region of Peru. It's a, a Peruvian root that's actually in the same family of broccoli and cauliflower and such. Uh, so it's carciferous, I believe that's the word. And this guy actually has lots of different benefits to it. And they include uh, things like uh, increasing libido, um, helping with erectile dysfunction, and along those lines as well, apparently it's supposed to help increase fertility. So not only can make you better with your sexual function, but make your sexual function more potent. <laughs> and there actually have been studies on this, actually on both the male side and the female side, where they say also it helps with people who are having, uh, ladies who are having menopause problems, and also help with the women's libido um, in postmenopausal areas. And another thing along those lines, it is supposed to help uh, with postmenopausal women uh, with helping improve their moods. And overall, it's supposed to actually be a good mood booster for things like anxiety and depression. It's supposed to help reduce sun damage. So it actually works a bit like a sunscreen. <laughs> Very funny lot, and there's been some studies on this as well. It's actually supposed to be good for boosting energy and endurance. There have been several studies done that say that it actually has help with endurance athletes. There haven't been anything that say as far as help with uh, people who do other forms of exercise, like muscle building um, or other different types along those lines, but they do say it's good for endurance in particular and just boosting general energy levels and mood levels. Now because it's a, a good antioxidant and it's an anti-inflammatory, it's supposed to also help uh, fight free radicals, which is good for things like cancer and heart health. Also supposed to help with improving learning and memory. Another interesting weird one is it's supposed to help with high altitude sickness. And this might very well be because it's actually grown at high altitudes itself. Uh, a lot of times it's grown up to 13,000 feet, so almost two miles in the air. And finally, the last couple things that it's supposed to help with is reducing prostate size, which I believe is also good for prostate cancer in that sense. And then it's also supposed to be good for bone health. So yeah, lots of interesting different uh, things that it's helpful for in maca root. Uh, it's not uh, like a lot of traditional herbs um, in the things that it's actually helpful for. Now, a lot of people don't like the taste of straight maca root, so if you're looking to go and just buy it without a tea or something along those lines, you might want to be ready because apparently it's very bitter and tough uh, by just having it by itself. If you're going to have it, they do have it in powder form and other forms along those lines that make it a little bit easier to have and so you can mix it into other things. But that's definitely the way to have it is to mix it into this other stuff if you, or have it in a pill form or just have it in a tea because yeah, by itself, not exactly like just eating broccoli or something if you just like that. So it <laughs> doesn't work that way. The one other thing we need to mention is the possible side effects. Now, um, as usual, they say um, pregnant women and all these things, but actually there's supposed to be some things where it can help possibly with pregnant and breastfeeding women. And so they just say to uh, consult your doctor about having it. The main side effects are if you are overdosing on it again. Same about any herb, root, or um, plant along these lines. Just take it easy on the amount that you're having and then you'll be okay. It says uh, you don't want to go over 400% um, the uh, allowed amount because of the amount of copper in it, which obviously can cause problems. But mainly the main problem that has been seen is that people who have thyroid problems or existing thyroid conditions could have a problem with maca root. Um, because of the things that it brings out. Yeah, apparently there are these things called goitrogens, which can affect uh, thyroid function, and uh, maca root actually helps uh, goitrogens, and that's where it comes from, I mean. So the last couple things that people say they've had problems with are things like um, stomach cramps, moodiness. Um, they have said uh, some women have had some problems with an alteration in their menstrual cycle. And lastly, uh, some people experiencing uh, some symptoms of insomnia or jitteriness. And that's probably because um, this is like caffeine or um, I don't know if it in itself is caffeinated. I'd have to look that up or put it down here in the bottom of the screen for you to see. This tea overall is very caffeinated. So um, yeah, it might just be because something along those lines and it has a similar effect like those uh, along those lines because it actually um, creates, uh, you know, the energy in you and you don't want to have it too late at night because it can actually, you know, it gives you energy. And like we said, it actually helps with um, 
uh, stamina and athletes and uh, supposedly has helped to be good, be good for increasing your energy. So it makes perfect sense that you would have trouble with things like jitteriness or insomnia if you try and have it too late at night because it is a stimulant. So you just got to be ready for that when you're having this. All right? Everybody clear? If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, you guys have a great tea day and we'll see you next time.